today's video is about my steel whipper snipper and what we're going to be doing is changing the head from the generic steel uh, head to a really cheap speed feed head now this is what it looks like got this from ebay for 19 dollars that includes postage delivery right here in australia let me show you how this uh, works and how this gets attached to there the idea of this is that it quickens up the line changing process the steel model that i'm using here it's pretty old fs94 rc but it actually is a brilliant whipper snipper and works really really well very powerful the issue is um, the head if I can just show you the old head first and then I'll show you the new speed feed head. You know, I'm a bit behind the times. This has been out for ages, but I'll just show you for the sake of this video how this works. How I've always had to change this old head. When the line runs out, you press this tab, a bit comes out, change size, press again there and out it comes. There's a bit of uh, cord already up on here, but this is a dual cord wind up. And it's a bit of a pain in the neck, to be honest, when this is totally out of cord. There's two little holes and you've got to poke it in. What the heck, let's show you what I mean. And this is it. They are the little holes there. You've got to get your cord, like so. Poke it in. And then you've got to start winding it by hand. Hopefully it doesn't unspool. Then you put it into that little bit there. And you do the same on the bottom. You get the idea, you plonk it back in poke it through there I've only done one side right and then you hold it down and carefully put those tabs back where they're meant to go and you'll have dual cords coming out again and off you go again and it runs out it's automatic feeding comes out due to centrifugal forces I want to get away from that rubbish and I want to get on to <laughs> the new $19 piece of equipment speed feed and I'll show you, this is uh, meant to be fitting a lot of different uh, whipper snippers that are out there. With this particular model whipper snipper, I did have to do something uh, with it to make this work properly. And I'll show you what I mean. Let's show you what this comes with. Comes with this, uh, the head. It's got a bit of cord already wound in there. And depending on what kind of whipper snipper model you have, it comes with a few threaded bushes there and a couple of studs. First things first, how do we remove the old thing? Very easily. With your whipper snipper head, what you have is a little hole there. What you need is something like this. This is about three millimeters in dimension. This is just a temp peg that I bent over and you put this into place and turn it and you'll find a little hole. Then what you need to do is turn it in this orientation, I'm turning it anti-clockwise. And what will start happening is it will start to come undone really really easy stuff and then it all falls all over the place <laughs> this particular whipper snipper has this cover plate like that and it's got this um, uh, ball bearing part in the middle there and you can see how that head looks this drive shaft okay has uh, splines cut into it like so and the splines fit into that end cover plate what you can see is that there is probably about 10 millimeters of spline and then the threaded section. The way this works is you would screw it upon here. This particular thread already fits the thread up on my, my drive shaft. Already fits on. There we go. So you can already see what the issue is going to be. I've got 10 millimeters of spline there, which is not ideal. The idea of it is that it would go down, like so. This would go into place, screws down into place. Put my little key back in. Now, the issue here is it's already hitting the spline. Look at that. So that's no good. So this might be an issue that you might experience with your whipper snipper. You've got to put something there. It's got nothing inside the box to help you out. You've got to make something and I'll show you what I've made. So what I've just made out of pine, really, really easy stuff. This is probably about, I don't know, six millimeters thick and the hole is 25 mils in diameter. And this is the diameter of this cover plate. So literally, this is just a bit of wood. I've just painted it red goes on 
this goes on like that, this goes on like that, and this goes on as well. Get my key into place. You can already see how that uh, big washer, or a big bush, we can call it, uh, works, right? Tighten it up a bit more. Now, as you can see, the cord has actually spooled up inside. So let's get that out. And this will be a good chance for us to sort of just see how this uh, all looks inside. So to open it up, there are some tabs. Just put a screwdriver in there. There we go. Opens up, and this is what it looks like inside. Now I'm gonna pull this out and I'll show you how this actually works. There's a cord. These bits can come out. There's our centre drive spool. There's a drive shaft bolt is coming through there, so it's not going to come undone. But there's some play here. This is called a um, bump to advance system, or a bump system. Now, I'll show you how that works. You can see the play that's there, right? In the head, there is a spring as well. Applies a bit of pressure down onto this drive spool right there. And there is a hole straight down the center where your cord goes. It's got six different little steps. It doesn't matter which way you put on, it's identical both sides. Okay, it goes in like that, or it goes in like that. It does not really matter. You got these little parts, so these only go in one way. There we go. Uh, same deal here. Perfect. We then put on our top cover plate that's got the spring in place, noting that the tabs go down here. There we go. There is an arrow right there and right there. So each side. The arrow obviously denotes the position of the hole. Remember that internal drive mechanism where the hole is? So what we need to do, we need to turn it to where the hole is. Now, so this goes all the way around. That's how you wind it up. There's the arrow, and it goes right there to the hole. Let's have a look, and you can see there is a hole looking directly down. So what you do, this is the beauty of it. You get your, I don't know, you might have like two meters of cord, whipper snipper cord. Make sure one end's a little bit on the straight side. If it's bent, it might not go through nice and clean. You plonk it through and it should come through on the other side like that. And we check the lengths. They should marry up evenly. And I can see I can need to pull it a little bit more. Beautiful, mate. With your cord even, we now begin to wind up. And this is how it goes. And if you can see what's happening, the cord is winding up. Okay, that is easy as. That's so easy, it's not funny. Yeah, gone is now this system where I have to open this thing up on each side, okay, and feed that little spool in there by hand. Now we have a system where it just feeds on through, wind it up, and you're good to go. So I just have to have, I don't know, two meter lengths of cordage around the place. This is so fast, in 30 seconds, I can change this. Now, you might be thinking, how the heck does this unwind? Well, if you're not familiar with how bump systems work, it needs to be bumped, and look at the, look what the play that we have here. So the idea is, if you want more cord to come out, you bump it down on the ground, and more rope will come out. This is when it's spinning. So due to centrifugal forces, you bump it and a bit more rope will spool out. Bump, and it comes out. That's that spring mechanism inside there and that play that we were looking at before. That's the way it works. The problem that I have now is I need to bump this up on the ground. This is all going to get messed up and scratched up. I don't want that happening. <laughs> I want to try to do something where I can, you know, get a little bit more life out of this. You know, I worked hard for my $19 and I don't want to have to just buy another one of these because this is getting damaged in, say, six months' time. So we are going to make something. I'm going to be drilling a hole in the centre there. Out of wood. Could have made it out of metal or whatever. I've just used a bit of pine. Put a hole in there 
and I've got two bits and I'll show you why. I've got a threaded bolt, fits through that hole. I have a, a washer and a nut. It's simply a bolt in the bottom and you tap that instead of that to protect your head. All right, let's do that. What we are focusing on is upon the head. I've made this to be able to fit directly into that part there. Now we need to just drill a hole. So we've just got a nice little hole there. And what I'm gonna do is I made this little pine timber bush. You can use whatever you find, right? This is all I've got just to give me some length there. That's given me a little bit of length. On the back side here, I've got enough room to put a little tiny washer, a bolt. Just get that tightened up. So you get the gist of it. I will get my spring. This needs to fit back over. This goes back on here. All right, so I can see there is a situation. I need to go lower there, right? Because it's hitting in and it's hitting that bolt too quickly. So all I need to do is actually uh, chop it down a little bit more and should be good to go. Decided to actually make a much more shorter piece. I'm just gonna, just like this, okay? Just with a little hole in it, plonk it in. There we go. That fills up that little spot. I've trimmed down my bolt a little bit as well, and let's put it all together. This comes through, our washer on, our little nut. Now the moment of truth, we put our spring back. Let's see if it's deep enough, and we'll, we'll plonk it all together. Perfect. Let's just wind this up a little bit better. Head is good to go. You can see how it'll work. Okay, great. Let's put it all back together up on the head. Beautiful. Perfecto. Let's uh, test this out, shall we? So that is the eBay speed feed head for your whipper snipper. 19 bucks mate, I'll leave a link in the description. Works pretty well, as you can see I bumped it up on the bolt. No damage to the head and yeah, works great mate. Please leave a like up on this video if you found it helpful. Thank you for watching, catch you on the next one.